Are you looking for a really cool tool where you can create or download interactive multimedia presentations, share your interactive lessons, and control the student's activity in real time, have your students interact and submit responses through any mobile device or computer, and then be able to monitor and measure students' results on an individual or collective basis? Nearpod might be the perfect tool for you. You can find a lot more information simply by going to nearpod.com on either your computer or mobile device, but this tutorial will show you how to take your PowerPoint files and import them into a Nearpod presentation to use with your class. The first thing I'm going to do is open up a PowerPoint presentation that I have saved on my desktop. The most efficient way to upload these to Nearpod is in an image format. So I'm going to click on my file menu and choose Save as Pictures. I want to save each slide in my PowerPoint presentation as an individual image. You'll notice that it saves as a JPEG file. That's perfect. You just need to choose where you want to save it. In this case, I'm going to save it on the desktop and say Save. Now what's going to happen is it is going to create a new folder on my desktop with each individual slide saved as its own individual image. Now I'm going to say OK and then minimize PowerPoint so that I can see it on my desktop. Here you'll notice I have a folder called Bench iPads. This mimics the name of my original PowerPoint presentation, only this time it's a folder containing the images. When I double click on the folder to open it up, I see that each individual slide is saved as an image. Next step is to open up a browser and log in to Nearpod. Now the first thing I notice when the login screen opens is that there are hundreds of pre-made Nearpods that I can download. Some are free, some are paid, but it's nice to know that's a resource. When I signed up for Nearpod, I simply signed in with my Google account. Because our district email accounts are Google accounts, it's one way to just have everything in one place. So I'm going to simply select my account and log in. The colorful screen that greets me is going to ask me what I would like to do. In this case, I want to create a new presentation. I'm going to take advantage of one of the nice features of this program, and at the bottom where it says to drag my files here, I am literally going to drag my files there. In order to do this, I'm going to grab the bottom right-hand corner of my window and shrink it just a little bit, just enough so that I can see that folder on my desktop. When I double-click and open up the folder, I can see all of the slides in it. By clicking in that column or selecting one and then using the keyboard shortcut Command A, I can select all of the files at once. Now all I have to do is click and drag into the window below. I'm going to close that finder window and what it's asking me in the uploader is whether I want what I just drug in to be single slides or a slideshow. I'm going to choose single slides because I want each individual slide that I made to be its own slide in my presentation. Since I'm actually importing 31 slides, it's going to take some time. Through the magic of time lapse and video production, I'm going to speed this up for you. When all of the slides have finished loading and I say OK, what I'm going to get first is a place where I see the title. I'm going to edit this title to actually customize my presentation. This is where I will give it a name. I can optionally describe my presentation. I'm going to select the grade level that it best suits and the subject matter on which it's mainly focused. Now I see that all of my slides are in, but they're all mixed up. It's very simple to just point, grab, and drag them into the order that you want. If you'd like to select more than one slide at a time to move multiple at once, just press the control key until you have selected all of the slides that you want to move together. Once all of the selected slides are framed in orange, as you see here, you just need to click and drag them into the place that you want them to be. For now, I'm going to pretend that my presentation is finished and ready for publication. At the bottom, I'm going to click on the Publish button. I'm going to check again that I've correctly named it, described it, given it a grade level, and chosen a subject, and say save. It will ask you if you're sure you want to publish your presentation, and that's the only way to get it into your library, so of course the answer is yes. Now all that's left to do is push it out to your students and present away. Now there are a lot more really cool features of Nearpod that I could show you, but those are for other tutorials. For now, don't be afraid to dig in and play with this tool. Explore it, learn it, test it out, and see for yourself how cool it is. I promise that you and your students will love it.
For more information and ideas on how to get the most out of your classroom technology, visit us at bpstis.org. You'll find lots more resources, just like this one, produced by your Billings Public Schools Technology Integration Specialists.